This morning, uh, Director Porter Goss uh, offered his resignation as the director of the Central Intelligence Agency. I've accepted it. Uh, Porter's tenure at the CIA was one of transition. He's helped this agency uh, become integrated into uh, to the intelligence community, and that was a tough job. And he, he's, he's led ably. He uh, has got a five-year plan to increase the number of analysts and operatives which is going to help make this country a safer place and help us uh, win the war on terror. He's, uh, he's uh, instilled a sense of professionalism. Uh, he's, he's, he honors the proud history of the CIA, uh, an organization that uh, is known for its secrecy and accountability. Uh, I am confident that his successor will continue the reforms that he's put in place. A lot of time here in the Oval Office. He honors the proud history of the CIA, uh, an organization that uh, is known for its secrecy and accountability. I would like to report back to you that uh, I believe the agency is on a very even keel, sailing well. I honestly believe that we have improved dramatically. Uh, your goals for our nation's intelligence capabilities, uh, which are, in fact, the things that I think are keeping us very safe. And I honestly would report to you, sir, that we are safer for your efforts, your leadership, and for the men and women in the community that are working so hard and doing so well. Thank you for the support, uh, the encouragement, and the understanding uh, how tough the work is uh, and how important it is. Central Intelligence Agency is a vital part of that war. He took a number of steps bringing in unqualified, inexperienced people from Capitol Hill and having them act arrogantly towards senior officers of CIA.